He's running with it. Got him. Big cat. Yeah, oh man, that's a really good cat. Today we're doing some catfishing out here on Lake of the Ozarks going after some blue and channel catfish. Uh, first we need to get some fresh bait and starting off by throwing out the cast net or first thing this morning looking for shad and bluegill to catch and use for live and cut bait. There's what we're looking for right there, just some little bluegill like that right around under 5 inches or so. That one's a good drop. Should have something in this net. Yep. All right, got a couple more out of that throw right there. Well guys, threw the cast net out one more time over here on this bank this time. And I actually kind of get bait this time, but I got what's chasing them. A uh, little channel catfish right there. And Hopefully he just comes out of that net because their spines at that size will get you pretty bad. But yeah, first catfish of the day out of the cast net. Not how I was planning it. You got to get him back in. Can't keep game fish out of a cast net. Looks like enough bait to get us started. Let's go see if we can catch some catfish with these guys. These are perfect bait, about three inch size gizzard chad. All right, so now we're gonna go do some real fishing out here and try to go catch some blue cats probably off these points over here. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of the shad that I was catching were actually out here in the main channel. So we're gonna try deeper down. I saw some marks kind of hanging out down there below them and I guarantee you that those are catfish. So we're gonna go and try to drop down to some of those schools that I saw earlier and uh, see if we can pull some out. Guys, today we're going to be rigging these fish up or bait up on a circle hook here on a three-way rig. I've got a three-way swivel tied up here. I don't know how well you all see that, but uh, the first swivel up here closest to my fingers, this one goes up to my main line. This one right here goes down to a two-ounce sinker that I've got over here. And it's got a swivel on as well, so it won't get tangled up at all. So it will uh, it'll rotate free on the bottom, won't cause a bunch of line twists. And then this is the other one that comes off of here. So the idea of this is uh, the hook will be sitting over here off the bottom while the weight is dragging on the bottom and whatever live bait I have or cut bait will be kind of floating a few feet up. And even though I'm kind of in a boat out here in somewhat deep water today, I'm fishing out here uh, close to the main channel as you all can see, I'm kind of a little bit away from shore and uh, fishing about 40 foot of water over here off of a point on the main lake. So. There's shad out here, and I believe there are catfish down below them. We're gonna go see what we can catch out from underneath of those schools of shad. But first up, we're gonna get this bait hooked up on this rod and get it out there. Bluegill on this rig, I like to take my circle hook and go right behind their back dorsal fin here. And don't go all the way down to their spine. You'll see a little line on these fish, kind of right in through here, it's a lateral line. You wanna go above that and right underneath that dorsal fin. Sometimes the scales kind of get in the way and then pop that through the other side and make sure that hook point on this side is clear of any scales like I have here. You don't want to have anything that's going to be in the way of that hook point going into that fish's mouth when he does grab it. Got first one on right here. Feels decent. I just saw the rod twitching over here. He wasn't even feeling like he was on there. I was getting ready to drill up to see if I had my bait. Oh, what do I have? This isn't even a fish. Oh, that's weird. I got a roller skate. Um, okay, that is 100% just like a roller skate or something. That, that's weird. See the shoe and everything in there. Okay. Well, get another rod rigged up again. <laughs> Let him eat this thing. He's running with it. Got him. Big cat. Yeah, oh man, that's a really good cat. That was a good head shake right there. Holy crap. Stay on, bud.
Oh, he's down deep. Wow. How big is he? I'm starting to see him come up, guys. He's huge. Yeah, that's at least a 20. Eh, might be close to 20. Big blue cat on that whole bluegill down there. I wonder if I'm fitting my net or if I can just grab him. <laughs> you hear him oinking at me. All right, let's get this guy up here. Grab my mouth here. Holy cow, come up here, bud. Woo! Awesome. Took you guys out too for a ride. Cut my finger up good. Well, there he is, guys. Compared to my hand, he's pretty big. Uh, I'd say he's probably close to 25 to 30 inch range or so. Good size catfish right there out of the Lake of the Ozarks. I am gonna put this guy back in, and I'm not really gonna be keeping a lot of the blues out of here today. So if I do get a flathead, I might keep him. But this guy is a nice fish to catch and a lot of fun, but not what I'm wanting to take home to eat. That's a good look at him right there for you guys. I'm gonna get him back in and uh, send him off on his way. Sweet. <laughs> All the slime. I think we might be getting to take up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's on. This one's on the shad. Doesn't feel as big as the last one I had up. He is not. Flip him right on up in here. Not a blue cat though. Be nice. It's a nice little catfish right there. Uh, be perfect eater size, but I'm just not too interested in eating blues. One last look at him right there before he goes back in. This one came on the shad. The other one, big one, was on the bluegill. So, we're eating a bunch of different stuff down there. All right, well, that was a very nice spot. Uh, ended up catching two catfish out of there, both blues, and uh, one that was pretty sizable. Uh, I don't really know how much it weighed. I'd say it's probably between 25 and 30 inches long. Uh, decent size catfish for here uh, nothing that's a monster but definitely a good one so we're gonna keep moving around though because that spot's cooled off it's been about 15 minutes since I've had any bites so I'm gonna keep moving on and uh, see if I can find some more fish and some active ones because I think they're still down there they're just not biting right now I might come back to this spot later Mm. Yep, got one on. What I got here? Oh, channel catfish. Grab my net for this guy, he'll fit in it. <clears throat> Caught him on a cut piece of chad. One of the shad I had died. There we go. Awesome. That's a little channel catfish. He's probably around 18 inches or so. Good e good size for eating. Uh, caught him on a cut piece of shad, like I said before. Circle hook and cast it up a little bit, kind of like on the deeper side of some of these docks over here. These fish like to stay a little bit shallower than some of the blue cats do in general. I catch more channel catfish towards shore and more blue catfish offshore. So I'm gonna get him back in though. Nice little fight on the lighter rod.
Well, that spot only had that one catfish at it that was active anyway and wanting to eat anything. So we're gonna keep moving on to another one and uh, keep trying to go and whole hop here. If I don't get action within a few minutes of fishing a spot, like 15 minutes of being there, uh, I like to move because otherwise I'm gonna be fishing at water that either doesn't have a lot of catfish in it or doesn't have a lot of active feeding ones. Uh, there might be plenty of catfish there. They're just not biting right now. So we're gonna keep moving on and uh, try to get some more fish in the boat. Spot number three, guys. I'm gonna try this bridge and this bluff right here next to it. Uh, I got about 50 foot of water where I'm sitting at right now, right underneath me. And uh, I've seen a few marks on the scope already, so there should be some fish here. A few moments later. Got one on. Did not take long to cast next to this bridge piling. So I got our blue. Came on a cut piece of shad as well, and he's a fat one. I'm gonna just flip him in here. Nice. And there the hook came out. It's a good thing about circle hooks there. That's the catfish. Another nice will be eater size. If I was going for that today, but I'm gonna throw him back in. Nice little fight right there off the bridge piling. We're back over here where we started out this morning going after some blues again, kind of down deep on that flat and gonna see if we can catch one here in the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, got just a little bit of time left before I got to head in and see if I can catch one more catfish. Graph looks good, seeing some marks, and I've had one bite since being here, so hopefully we can get one more blue cat in before the end of the day. Fingers crossed we can make it happen. Hey, hey, we got one on. I took a live bluegill back over here in the original spot we were at this morning. I'm gonna grab him up here and switch over the chest cam. I don't know if he's on there anymore or not. No, he came off. Wow. Okay. We definitely had it. All right, here we go. We got a fish biting on here. Yeah, I think he's still on. Yep. That's a cat. Oh, good head shake right there. It's probably decent. Feels decent. He's not as big as the one I got this morning, but he's not a bad one. <laughs> oh yeah, sweet. Look at the size of that catfish, guys. Nice catfish right there. He's winking at me. Fish came out of about 45 foot of water right there on the three-way swivel. I think that's probably going to wrap up today for us, guys. I'm going to get him back in the water here. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel, you like this kind of stuff, Fish Lake of the Ozarks or anything else relative to that, consider checking out some of our other content. we got all kinds of stuff, multi-species, all across the board around the lake and surrounding Missouri area lakes. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.